This is the dashboard for Pressbooks 23 scholarly communication things. We have our list of 23 things here, but we can change the order of these if we decide to at any time throughout the year. Uh, you've got your editing features on the left hand side here, and one of the really nice features that they have is H5P content. Um, for those of you who haven't used H5P, it allows you to create interacting learning objects, interactive learning objects that you can insert easily into your chapters. The first chapter that we have released is this one, Citation Counts, Author Level Metrics and Journal Rankings. Uh, you can insert images and links and things that you would do on any other guide, but we really liked the look and feel of uh, press books. And you've also got revisions at the bottom um, here, so if you do make a mistake or if something's not displaying properly, you can go back to a previous version and start again from there. This is 23 Scholarly Communication Things by QUT Library. In the introduction, just tells them a little bit about what they can expect. We're also encouraging them to use MS Teams um, to write about their experiences, uh, if they want to make comments or ask questions as well, so it becomes like a community of practice. Um, navigation is mostly by these contents list, but there is also uh, navigation down the bottom on the left and right. So this chapter, Citation Counts, Author Level Metrics and Journal Rankings, is by Alice Steiner and Tanya Harden. Tanya is our Scholarly Impact Librarian. Uh, as you can see, uh, as I said earlier, we like the look and feel of it. There's exercises to help people learn more about the different areas that we've been talking about. And there's this is our H5P content that we created, our interactive exercise, and there's also things for them to consider. As we release more information, uh, these chapters will become unlocked. But this is our the start of our 23 scholarly communication things.